And let's get started. Now remember, this is a circuit. So there are gonna be four moves and you're gonna do it back to back to back to back and then complete that entire circuit four to five times. So starting out, we are doing leg lifts and I love these because you can adjust it to your level. If they're a little more challenging, go ahead and put your hands under your butt. That will help you to lift. And then if they're not that difficult and you wanna make it a little more challenging, throw some ankle weights on. Or if you're in the middle, you can just do what I'm doing here and keep your hands flat besides your butt and then don't put any extra weight on and we are doing 15 of those as soon as you finish those leg lifts dive right into these bicycle curls we are doing 25 these hurt they really hurt i was dying once i did this like the second and third time oh my gosh it kills you want to do 25 of these again to make it a little more challenging throw on some ankle weights once you have finished 25 of those, we are diving right into Russian twists. You can grab a medicine ball, a kettlebell like I have, a jug of milk if you're at home, or if you want to just use body weight, totally fine as well. And we are doing 20 Russian twists. For this, you really want to feel the stretch when you twist each side, and you also want to keep those feet above the ground, don't let them touch, and try and keep your back as straight as possible. As soon as you finish 20 of those, put that weight down and get into a plank position. We are going to hold this for 30 seconds and once you have done that you can collapse rest for one to two minutes and complete the entire circuit four to five more times if you can only do three that's totally okay just make sure that you're really pushing yourself through all of the movements and you will see results so like i said in the intro it's also important to incorporate cardio into your workout routine if you're trying to shed the pounds something that i like to do is jump rope it's fun it's engaging and it gets your heart rate up another one that i really love is the elliptical this is a low impact on your knees if you're like me and you hate cardio so you want to get it done as fast as possible i recommend hit training which is high intensity interval training for the elliptical what i will do is 30 seconds of a regular pace and then one minute and 30 seconds of a super fast pace i will up that resistance to like 15 or 16 and that is going to get your heart rate going if you repeat this process for 15 to 20 minutes that is what i like to do and that's how i've seen results